and welcome, this is Balloscoopo with another random game. This is Creatively Complicated. This is a puzzler, point-and-click game adventure, I guess you could say all point-and-clicks are technically adventure games. Let's go ahead and get this started. It is quite fun for me, a little bit challenging at first if, if you don't know what you're doing, but when you do, it becomes a little bit simpler. Just a little bit. And here we learn the basics of point-and-clicks. He cannot walk on the ceiling. He is hungry! And so he eats the pizza off the floor! I don't care how good the pizza is. Once it's on the floor, yeah, now he's fat. Once the pizza's on the floor, it's pretty much off-limits for me. Okay, uh, we have a door here, but, you know, we, yeah, it's locked, as I, as I assumed, because there's a giant keyhole there. What is this? What is this here? <coughs> well, he wants to pick it up, but he's not strong enough, so we need to find a way to make him stronger. Okay, spin the wheel. He doesn't know how. Yes, that's what I want you to do, spin the wheel by... Yeah, he won't. Looks like we're, we need something else there in order to spin the wheel. Uh, are you trying to say this is my brain and it's just, you know, mush? I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't know what this room is for at all. Uh, this, it looks like we need to, the stuff that we were trying to pick up before, it looks like it needs to be placed here. That's what that little symbol says to me, but unfortunately we don't have it. We have another room here that is pretty much bare bones. It looks like there's some kind of face there, you know, the O face there. I'm not exactly sure if that's what they were going for. This room is pretty much empty, uh, even though there's little symbols there, including something that can make us stronger. There is nothing we can do in that room. This is a puzzle room. I will, I will come back to this one. Just, just a little second. I don't like doing this one first. I, I like doing this one first. Uh, but we're going to skip it once again. I'll go over this one in a second. Even though that's really nice. Okay, we can grab this. This is a torch. Can I grab anything with this? No, of course not. Let's just move on then. Uh, this apparently needs fire so that I can get a sword because he can't do anything with a sword. That's the little symbol there. I assume I need fire. And damn it, there's my girlfriend. Die, hit him with a stick. That, that he doesn't want to hit him with the stick. No, it, it won't let me do it. Fine, then I shall solve some puzzles in order to get my girlfriend. The first one being this one over here. This is a simple matching game. Uh, the only problem is that you have to remember all of them. Now, I think I got it. I think I got it. This one, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and there we go. Solved. And that's how you know you solved something is when that thing comes up. Now let's head over here and we can take care of this thing. This thing is, well, it, it makes it a little bit more complicated than I think it should be. Uh, what this is, is a Venn diagram, so to speak. So. Uh, you need these numbers to add up to everything that they're touching. For instance, this one in the middle here is touching both 5 and 7, so it needs to be this 12 that is hiding out over here, so I need to move this stuff around. Uh, they will tell you, yeah, he says 1 plus 1 equals 2. Sorry, I didn't get that all on screen. Uh, that is what he says there. Um, you can take the 4, and then you need 3... You need the 4, you need the 12, and then if I could find another 7. There's another 7. And then, is that aligned properly? It is! I have solved for 7. Now we need to do 5, 1, and 3. This becomes a little bit more complicated as we go through it, though, as I'm sure you might imagine. Okay, let's move this one over here. No, 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 that's not going to work. Okay, uh, jeez. Yeah, the three there is not going to work. I need this to be the four. So that can be taken like that. Then we can move the one over here. It needed to go over there anyway. And, ugh. 
Uh, it gets a little complicated when I overthink things. Uh, four and ten, so these other ones need to be a three. There we go. That one is solved. Let's move on to one here. So you need that. And then you also need to put the one there. And... Oh, I got the four and the six mixed up here. Yeah, like that. Okay, so... Let's move this one here. This one needs to be... The six. And then this one needs to be the four. And then this one needs to be the one. And damn it, now I got these mixed up. The five and the twelve. Uh, okay. Let's move that. I need that one to be the twelve. Okay, so then this one needs to be... The twelve. And this one needs to be the five. And that did it! Very nice! Very nice. That is needlessly complicated, I think, but I did solve it in the end. And we have uh, gotten something here, including a drink, which will make us strong. Let's go ahead and use a torch here. So now we have a fire, which is always nice. Now, actually, I think I still want to go this way for now. Uh, we will go to the other rooms eventually. Oh, still haven't done anything here. Thought we had. Oh, no, because I still need to do this. Okay, fair enough. Back through the brain room. And back through here, unfortunately. I did go the long way this time. Let's go ahead and use the potion of strength. I am now strong. Let's go ahead and grab that. <coughs> Nicely done. Now we have a pile of whatever that is. It's a point-and-click game. You don't always need justification for what you're doing. You just do it. And plop that right on there. And that should have solved something. The smiley face here. Ah, this one is now open. What we need to do is make these all smiley faces. And how you do that is you press this button here. And when the smiley face pops up, you jump off and the button stays down. So you only got one shot at this. Make sure you get it right. You'll have to leave the screen. It's not like it's it's gone forever, but still, don't mess up. And hooray for the happy face. We have gotten this one. And uh, let's just show off one more face here. Let's go for the angry face to show that nothing else happens when, when you get any of the other ones. There's the angry face. Just, uh, he's not happy. You want You want the smiley face. Now, I believe we can head around this way now. I'm not sure which one's the longer way anymore, but we have solved most of the puzzles now. Most of them have been solved. Uh, this one here, it said it needed fire, so let's put fire in there. There's the fire. Can I now grab the sword? I can. You're going down, buddy! Die by the sword! Poke! And away he goes! Not the toughest enemy ever. I still can't do anything with her, and I can't do anything with the button, however. So, the giant monster won't trouble her anymore, but I can't really get to her just yet. Still can't do anything with the door, did not find a key anywhere. Let's just move on over here. Can I use this here? It looks like I can. Very nice. Spin the wheel. What do we get? Ah, oh, we got a crank for that. Very nice. Let's head back, and that probably will work on my girlfriend. Well, the button next to my girlfriend, which is close enough for me. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Turn the crank, and down comes my girlfriend. How you doing? <laughs> Yay! And a key dropped because she kissed me. Give me another kiss on my way. One for the road, baby. Now, let's head over and we can open the door now with our new fangled key. 
You have no idea what the brain room is for. I don't know if it's anything, to be honest with you. But we have finished it. Hooray! That is creatively complicated. Uh, you can download character uh, to create your game or cartoon. So I guess I could take him with me if I so desired. Nice little game. I think it is fun. I enjoy point and clicks. I hope you guys do too. But that's going to do it for this part. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.